Greetings, free thinkers, and welcome to the Hogcast. Okay, uh, on this episode, um, I don't know where to start really. Gwyneth Paltrow has listed a candle for sale online on the Goop website that smells like um, her garden, if you can get my meaning. Gwyneth Paltrow is selling a vagina-scented candle. That's what we'll be discussing today on the Hogcast. Okay, free thinkers. So we'll jump straight into this article. But first, if you haven't, by all means, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this, and maybe share the video because that helps me stay competitive with the big mainstream media organizations that YouTube has chosen to prioritize. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get into the article. And the candle itself is being sold for £75. She probably, sorry, 75 US dollars. She probably got the idea from this from the gamer girl, I'm sure you know who I'm talking about, Bella Delphine, who sold bath water that she had sat in. She bottled the bath water and sold it for God knows how much. And all of the bottles were bought. They sold out immediately by super cupped beta males who were desperate to drink the bath water that Bella Delphine has most likely farted in, sat in, you know, just, just, you, you, understand, you, you know where, where I'm coming from. And the same thing has happened with Gwyneth Paltrow's tuna smelling candles in which she's listing them for $75 each and they have just sold out completely because everyone wants to light these candles. These super beta males who live in their mum's basements and have a neck beard that's about eight miles long. And they light these candles, probably two or three. They probably ordered a whole sleeve full of these candles. And they sit there and waft the smell of of the um, Gwyneth Paltrow candles into their neck beards. And they just love the smell of it so much. So the article, it starts by listing the price, etc, etc. And then we get to the meat and bones of the um, article which says according to the producer's description this candle started as a joke between perfumer Douglas Little and Gwyneth Paltrow the two were joking on the fragrance and she blurted out oh this smells like a vagina but evolved into a funny gorgeous sexy and beautifully unexpected scent what well, I'm not going to say, I'm not, I won't go there, but I was going to make a crass joke there. Having um, been about the bush, no pun intended, quite a bit myself, I can tell you that it's not, it doesn't smell like that. It doesn't smell like uh, beautifully wicked or whatever it was, fragrance. It doesn't smell like that at all. I generally try and stay away from the smelly side of things, but yeah. So that turned out to be the perfect, as a candle, we did a test run at an in-goop health and it sold out within hours. So, Okay, so scrolling down we have what I believe is the perfume bottle, con the, the container, it's, it's aesthetic appearance. There's no nothing here that says that this is a spoof of what they're talking about. It looks to be... I mean, like, they're advertising it as this is what it is, and it certainly tells you what is in the bottle. And it goes down further. The 47-year-old actress has listed the $75 candle for sale in her online goop shop. We know that. But she's revealed that it smells like geranium, citrusy, bergamot, and cedar-scented candle. Well, if her garden smells like citrus, I think she should lay off the lemons or the limes or the... Um, she shouldn't be drinking so much lemon juice if it, if you know what smells citrusy. It's got an acid buildup. She has an acid buildup, ladies and gentlemen. But I suppose that's better than a uh, fungus buildup. She has drawn controversy before by this. What you can see here, which was so she she founded the Goop website in two thousand eight. Bloody blah. blah, blah controversial bloody blah, blah for previously advertising readers 
advising sorry readers to purchase a fifteen thousand dollar twenty four karat gold lady toy and garden jade eggs. I don't know what I mean. You're supposed to put that up there. They say you know what jade egg. What what do you do with it? Do you just walk around with it in there, or I mean, what is it? And that's pure jade. That's not um, cheap. Just got to show you what do the the things these elites do in their spare time just blow my mind. They just they have interests that I can't even comprehend. Furthermore, in 2008 or a few years ago she had turned her attention to the world of BD you know what I'll probably get banned if I said that uh, you know the uh, more sort of uh, extreme type of thing that adults do with each other and last year sold a nude underwear set alongside a black whip currently on sale for $72 which promises to fulfill consumers fantasies the lingerie set's production description read handmade in England. This saddle leather bra is what you don't you know what people are made of. And there is the whip itself. This is what I'm saying about elites. They They're into some very strange things. I'd love in one way I'd love to be a fly on the wall just to see the the, the level these people go to. You, you know what I mean? I wonder if she pitched this idea to Yankee Candle or um, one of the, maybe Walmart even. Although I should expect that's a bit out of the price range for people who, who shop in Walmart. And that's very, you know, it's no judgment there. I don't think, I don't think, I mean, look, I would shop in, if I was in the United States, I would shop in Walmart. And I, I certainly wouldn't buy this, or, although it would, uh, if, if I worked in Walmart and I was a manager and we were stocking this, I would stock it in the uh, tuna aisle, the, the fish aisle. I wouldn't stock it in the ladies' health or aisle or anything like that. I would stock it in where we put the tinned salmon and uh, mackerel and that type of stuff. Okay, so let me know what you guys think. I know it wasn't exactly the... This was just a bit of a, a a funny look at what's going on in the world today. This isn't a spoof, by the way. My take is obviously a funny take on this, but this is... She's done this. And it's like I say with, with Gamer Girl, the Bella Delphine. She actually sat in bathwater and then bottled the bathwater and then beta males were... Well, I was going to say fighting, them, uh, fighting amongst themselves over it, but... Beta males don't fight, so it was handbags at dawn. They were slapping and wagging their fists at each other over it. And uh, the bottles of bath water sold out in no time at all. And this is what I'm saying: is people will buy anything, wouldn't they? They'll just they'll buy anything. You can sell anything really on eBay, no matter what it is. There was even a while ago someone that was even allegedly selling. Um, this is a few years ago. They were selling Britney Spears thrown away chewing gum. Apparently they saw Britney Spears coming out of the nightclub with all her entourage. And she threw some chewing gum onto the floor. And this person picked it up and put it in his little own container and sold it on eBay. Or tried to sell it on eBay. And it started a mad bidding war. I don't know if... I heard that eBay came in to stop it because it was getting out of hand. But I don't know for sure. Someone may have ended up paying a whole lot of money for it. And who knows whether it even is or even was from Britney Spears' mouth. You don't know. It could be just a random chancer. eBay's full of them. But that's not the point. The point is people are willing to spend an obscene amount of money on... Chewing gum that Britney Spears chewed. And what do you think these people are going to do with it? They're not going to put up a pride of place on their mantelpiece. They're going to chew it. That's exactly what... Probably worse. They're probably going to do some unspeakable things with it. But that's why they do these things. The, ba the Bella Delphine bathwater. They're going to drink that. They'll drink it. 
Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think of this craziness? What this isn't this is the modern world. This is progressives. This is this progressive rush towards progressivism at any cost, towards nihilism at any cost, this progression headlong into something. They don't even know what it is. You ask a progressive what it is they're progressing towards and what you think society should pro should progress towards and they they will give you an unambiguous vague answer of some sort of perfect utopia where everything's just fine but everything's not fine things are getting worse and worse by the day and this is just pure nihilism this really is okay thank you for watching i know this video wasn't as long as i normally do but I've kind of run out of scope for this particular video. I mean, it is what it is. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video, share the video, because it really helps me stay competitive. Thank you, and goodbye.